Hey, hustlers, how y'all doing today? Come on in with your hood, girl. Come on in, come on in, come on, come on, come on in. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, y'all ready for the movie? Let's roll the day. Hey, hustlers, how y'all doing? Come on in, bring your Kool-Aid, your cocktail, your water, bring your food and snacks, and sit and chat with me. This hood girl to the hood. Today we have pasta sauce with uh, some um, sausages and uh, roasted, uh, five roasted tomatoes uh, uh, also in the sauce, and then we have some garlic bread. So, y'all ready? This is scene two, take two. Let's roll the day. Hey, y'all. How y'all doing today? How was your weekend? I'm trying to find somewhere to put this, y'all. How was y'all weekend? Honey, you know I got an update for y'all. Oh, my goodness. Let's say prayers. I be so excited. Yeah. Mm. Uh, yeah, this is for the new week. Good work, y'all. Do good work. So, salute, salute. Sip, sip this good water. Cheers. Y'all. Comment down below what you're eating on with your hood girl today. I'm going to let y'all get the first bite. Here you go. It's piping hot. Mm -hmm. Don't that look good, y'all? And we got that garlic bread over there. Made by who? Me? My hands. And I like the tapatia hot sauce on my uh, pasta. So I got that on deck right here. And I'm going to put some here. And then we're going to get ready to eat. Because I have a lot of things to say. Let's do this timer though. Because you know, I'll, I'll get to talking. And, uh, y'all, we left uh, at uh, like 8 30 from here going to uh, Round Rock. And it rained. Oh boy, was it raining. God took us though. So, glory to God, we we got there about noon. No, we got there like 11.30. The room, my, of course, you know, you can't check in to 3. And so, he said, uh, if we, the room probably not going to be ready until 3. But if it if it uh, get ready before that, he will call me. So, I, I reached out to Mel. Mel said, yeah, I'm not going to sit there uh, and at the waiting for them. He said... Uh, I'm going to send you my ad address. Y'all come on to the house. And I'm like, okay. So, I, you know, I, I, of course I said, better law. She said, oh, I'm hood. That's your choice. And so, y'all, he was like five or seven minutes from uh, the hotel. And we got to his house. I'm telling y'all, that boy got a beautiful two-story house. Come back here. Yum, yum, give me some. Oh, that sauce tastes good. He got a beautiful uh, two-story house. And if I tell you, he got it decorated from top to bottom. Absolutely gorgeous. He drives Infinity and he got a badass black Cadillac in his garage. Mm -hmm. mm. That man there. Was the perfect gentleman, if I can say that. He catered, baby. He even went and bought my favorite cigar. <laughs> mm. 
my favorite bottle of alcohol. He had the grapefruit juice, but he had some cranberry juice with uh, black cherry. Man, I got a new drink, y'all. That was delicious in my in my vodka. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna be buying a bottle this weekend. Not the not the alcohol, but the cranberry the cranberry juice with um, black cherry in it. Ooh, that was good. We danced, we laughed. He is so comical. We laughed. The, the storm. The storm uh, never let up, so we stayed at his house for almost seven hours. But the hotel did call, and I asked them that uh, if we had to, uh, you know, what time do I have to? She said, it's yours. So he said, you know what? I'm hungry. Come on, y'all. Let's go eat. Huh? He took us to this place, seafood that is, because... I couldn't do my seafood on Friday, so he said, that's okay, I got you. Me and him shared this big old bag. We had king crab. We had uh, snow crab. We had sausage, potato, corn, and crawfish. And we got a, a mild sauce. Betty Lau had oysters, fried catfish, french fries, and what she had, uh, I think she had some hush browns or something. Mm. Y'all know I'm some spaghetti on here. Baby, Mel said all the time that he was eating coffee, she never sucked her head, but he said, I did it so well. So he started sucking her head. I was like, mm-hmm. There's some goodness in that head. But, uh, <laughs> me and him, we are so cuckoo together. We really are so cuckoo together. I want him really to be my best friend. And let's see where it goes. I just want a friend first, you know. I don't want to jump in head first. I did that so many times. I'm not doing that this time. I just want to keep learning him, you know. He got some expensive tags. Yeah, we had so much fun. Goodness, we had we laughed. We laughed so hard, y'all. That male talk called me. He told me that um I was showing too much cleavage and um that's why those men was looking at me. And uh <laughs> he said uh, it's a city ordinance. You can only have two inches of your cleavage showing, right, y'all? We laugh so hard. But after we got done, no, he saw my walk, y'all. Not that he had just saw my walk. He tried to perpetrate my walk. He said, girl, you about to hit every call out here for them get doing what to do. I said, you got the nerve to turn around and look back at it. <laughs> I'm like, you know, you stupid. That man had us in stitches. He had our stomach hurting. And I had beat them to the door of the restaurant, right? He told Betty Lau, look at her with her fast ass. <laughs> Betty Lau we had so much fun. So Friday night ended. I, we got to the hotel, checked in. At the time, I'm going to take a bath. Because we have been driving since 8.30. We didn't leave mail to like almost 9. 8 something. That was all day. I was ready to take a bath. And get another drink. <clears throat> And just listen to some music. So Saturday came. Mel Cow. He said, what are y'all doing? And I said, well, we just got through eating breakfast. He said, I was going to take y'all out for breakfast. And I was like, well, shit, you didn't call us early enough. We were hungry. Um, he said, well, I'm coming to get y'all. 
and said, what time y'all gonna be ready? Maybe we can go to the outlet mall and da-da-da-da. So, I told him what time we'd be ready because we was slow rolling, right? So he said, okay, that's a good time. So I said, baby, you picking us up curb service? He said, yeah, right there to get you. So we got ready. We went downstairs. I mean, not downstairs, but, you know, on the first floor of the, of the hotel. And uh, he came and picked us up, baby. Curb service. He let the window down. And I say, are you our Uber driver? Wait a minute, let me see if we have to say the, the look that the photo they sent us. And they, I, I think this is the right car. He said, girl, if you don't get in this car, so he opened the door. We went to Outer Mile. We walked around. He bought a coach, uh, some coach, uh, like summer shoes and a coach belt. From the coast store. But one thing y'all about me. He don't like me out of his sight. He would do this. Come on here. Come on over here. I'm like okay. Uh huh. Uh huh. So after we did all that walking. He say, I'm hungry. Y'all, let's go eat. Y'all hungry? What you want? Need a, he say, need a hood? What you want? If that boy would have called me need a hood one more time, I was going to get him. I know he called me need a hood this weekend at least a hundred damn times. Need a hood? Uh, what you want? I say some Chinese, some good mess. I say good authentic. He say, let's go to Razoo's. More seafood, y'all. So we got to Razoo's. And um, we ordered this one thing. Better order something else. And um, uh, uh, I ordered uh the fish and the shrimp and the hush puppies, and he ordered stuff tilapia and something, and some raw oysters, and Betty Lau got the grilled oysters and another plate of I think she had. Some shrimp and something too. So we're sitting there laughing and talking. A male brought up, well, he don't like being number five. He, he, he made that perfectly clear. Well, we laughed about it. And then I was taking a selfie, right? Let me show y'all a picture too. We were taking a, I was taking a selfie, so he said, Need a hood, taking a selfie. She, you know, need a hood, love herself. I said, Listen to this, y'all. I said, Well, yes, Mel, I love me. If I didn't love me, I wouldn't be able to love you and nobody else. And he, that nigga turned, uh oh, that man turned around and said, I love you too. I was like, Y'all, I was dumbfounded. I, I didn't know what word to say. How to say it? I like, and he just went on after he said it, he just turned around, started back talking to Betty Loud. I'm like, okay, but we were together for a while that day, so he dropped us back off at the hotel, and um, he wanted to take us out for breakfast this morning before before he left for work. And I told him, but well, I didn't tell him to this morning that that's okay. We're gonna bypass breakfast because we're gonna go ahead and get ready to get on the highway, and he need to go and go to work, honey. Mail wrong that phone. <laughs> so, this is what he said to me. He said, need to hug my mama and my sister. Always told me to get a girl that was self-sufficient, that had a strong mind, because she will be good in the house. Don't try to control her. Let her be who she want to be and who she is and you be who you are. 
But he said, the mom said, but sometimes us women, we'll, we'll go a little bit too far. She said, sometimes you just got to reel her in. And um, that's what I think about you. And he said, because you, you notice how I handled you. Not handled you, baby. I know you feel because he told me, he said, you, you got a smart ass mouth too, Nita Hood. He said, not handle you, not in a bad way, Nita Hood. I know you feel, you feel to go somewhere. He said, because you go from zero to 100 real fast. He said, but listen, not handle you in a bad way, baby. But you see how I handled you the way you, when you said which, how things you were saying? He said, you see how I took it back? I said, yeah. And he said, I said, you see how I obeyed? <laughs> <laughs> so, mm. But before I left on Friday to leave to go get better out, he said, let's pray. That man did a powerful prayer. Oh, my goodness. Stole my heart. And then um, he did the same thing this morning over us uh, before we left. So he gave me specific instructions. The same he told me coming. He told me going back. Need a hood. I need you to call me when y'all leaving the hotel. I need you to call me when y'all halfway. And I need you to let me know once you've made it. So I tried to do a shit. But when you're driving, talking, and laughing, you, you don't you 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 don't think about the time. So but when I thought about it, I was like, okay, we're on the road, but we was already on the road for 40 minutes. And then we got to, to uh Elgin to get them Elgin sausages. Uh, I let him know we was in Elgin. Then I let him know when I when I got Betty home. And then when I got home, I just texted. And I said, because I was trying to unpack. I just texted and said, hey, Mel Mel, uh, yo, Nita Hood is home. Child, y'all know that phone was ringing, right? Mm hmm So, when I kept telling Mel that I really want us to continue on this friendship level. He said, I've heard every time you said it, Nita Hood. And then he told Bear Loud, she thinks she running something. <laughs> mm-hmm. I think if I gave him any inkling that I want to be in a relationship right now, right here, right now, right, 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 right now, he would be so ready. But I'm not ready to jump in so fast. I just want us to still get to know each other, you know? Because what I, I peeped was everywhere I looked, everywhere I looked, he looked to see who I was looking at. And I think he also has just a hint of control. Now, We'll do another story about that because I'll tell y'all how I feel about controlling men and when I think that they should have control. But um, me and Mel are good. And um, he said something when we, we he was taking us, uh, we was leaving Razzles, and he said, um, you know, a, a bit loud, I ain't like me to need, need to get all these phone calls and texts. I say, Mel, yes, you do. He say, no, I don't. I say, yes, you do. He say, no, I don't, Nita. It's different. And that's the word of the day. Different. I say, but Mel, we are good. I, I say, Mel, we are good. He say, but it's different, Nita. It's different for me, for you. And I'm like, uh-huh, he ready. He's so ready, y'all. He could taste me. Mm -hmm. But he is, he, he, he is not going to have sex outside of marriage. He's just not going to do it. And that's final. And I'm thinking like, if you ask me to marry you and we get that down there somewhere, dude, you better, you better be packing like a, a mini horse because you, you, you better be good. But I feel something, y'all. Because we are so electric, you know, and if we just be the bestest ass friends, I'm okay with that too. But he be coming down, yeah, soon. So, yeah. Oh, let me show, let me show, let me show y'all. Mel, Mel. Uh, me and Mel, Mel. 
And for that, for those of you guys who are fr friends with me on Facebook and Instagram, I think I put it on Facebook. That's me and Mel, y'all. What you think? And that's me and Mel. And then we got some dancing videos as well. But, uh, yeah, that's it. That's all. Y'all, I've just been talking because I, 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 yeah, that's it. That's all. Let's sing ourselves out. Y'all ready? Get your voices ready. Thank y'all for coming. Don't forget to thumbs your hood girl up. Don't forget to comment below. And don't forget to like. My cousin told me I had cut my head off last time. So I hope when I load this video, y'all see my whole big old head, right? All right, look here, y'all. Let's sing. It's time to say goodbye for now. We have another chance around on the other side. So whatever y'all do for the rest of this day, do it good. Do it with purpose. And please, please do it with what? Oh, excuse me. <laughs> Genuine love. I love y'all. Bye-bye.